So according to a plethora of new polls, Hillary Clinton is surging in both Iowa and now New Hampshire. But the question rather is, can we actually trust these polls? And if you are kind of wondering whether or not we can accurately gauge who's leading and who's more likely to win in either Iowa and, and uh, or New Hampshire from these polls, the answer is a resounding no, we can't trust them. Uh, and that's because a lot of these polls, unfortunately, are not representative of the general public. They exclude millennials. I mean, in one poll from Monmouth, they actually keep out people that's under 25 because their requirement of who is likely to vote, well, that individual would have had to have participated in the last two elections. Well, if you're just turning 18 and you're excited to vote for Bernie Sanders, you're not going to be uh, have that record of participating in the last two elections. If you include millennials in this poll, well, it's probably the case that Bernie Sanders is doing a lot better. Now, I noticed something uh, kind of interesting about this. So I wanted... Uh, I wanted to, one, develop a call to action based on what I've noticed, and two, uh, kind of discuss some criticism that Bernie Sanders supporters have been getting. So, on David Pakman's show, he covered the Monmouth poll, and he got a ton of criticism from his viewers because of this representability problem. Uh, now, I think that that criticism was actually unfair, and I'll kind of explain what I mean by that. Now, furthermore, whenever I cover polls, uh, to where uh, Bernie Sanders isn't doing too well. I noticed that I'll also get some criticism as well. Uh, so one thing that the anti-Bernie Sanders Democrats are doing is they're stating that, look, these Bernie Sanders supporters, they only like it when you report on polls where Bernie Sanders is doing good. But if they don't like the poll, then they're going to challenge the methodology. When that's not really the case, because as Bernie Sanders supporters, I think that we are right to break out our tinfoil hats once in a while because we all know very well that the establishment is trying to destroy Bernie Sanders' campaign. But here's what I want to do. I want these polls to be a call to action for us Bernie Sanders supporters. So here's my argument. Now hear me out. I think that there is still some valuable information out of all of these polls, including the Monmouth poll, wherein people under 25 weren't polled. So what we can still extrapolate from these polls is that, well, if one poll, for example, it only includes people polled on landlines, well, then we can ascertain from that that people with landlines are probably going to be older. So it's probably the older Democrats. Now, if it is the case that these people are not polling well, uh, or if it's the case that Bernie Sanders isn't polling well among these demographics, then I don't think we should waste our time critiquing the methodology of the poll because we all know it's flawed. What we should be doing is targeting those demographics. So if, for example, we have this really skewed poll that only includes older demographics, older Democrats, well, then what we can take from that is that not that, you know, we need to challenge the poll because we're worried about sensationalism, but we need to use that information to our advantage. Now, what I'm saying is that we go for those people. We convert them. So, for example, it is the case right now that Bernie Sanders, it, he may be losing his lead in New Hampshire based on the people who are being polled. So what we should do then is we go crazy in New Hampshire. We target New Hampshire because that's a place that we can actually win. So this is a call to action because what we're going to do is we're going to flip the narrative. If a poll shows that Bernie Sanders isn't doing well, we're going to look at the methodology. We're going to look at the demographics polled. And then we're going to go from there. We're going to use this to our advantage. So first and foremost, you got to sign up to volunteer at BernieSanders.com. Uh, there's a ton of things you can do. You can make calls for him and whatnot. He has thousands and thousands of volunteers. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is we can really try to target New Hampshire. Now, I'm not sure how to do this, so I'm hoping that some of my viewers can kind of help me out with this. But we basically share information about Bernie Sanders' campaign in New Hampshire. Now, if you live in New Hampshire, if you live in Iowa, you've got a lot more work to do if you're a Bernie Sanders supporter. But for those of us who are not living in those two states, well, what we can do is we can maybe find senior citizen-oriented pages or groups on Facebook or throughout the internet. And uh, if they are Democratic, we can try to convince them into voting for Bernie Sanders. Now, basically, this is my call to action specifically. I want all of Bernie Sanders' supporters to try to convert one person. Now, I'm not talking about a Republican. Don't waste your time trying to convert a Republican because you're not going to convince them. I, I, I mean, if you can, kudos to you, but I'm saying we need to be as resourceful as possible because we've still got time to flip this. We can still do this. So if you can take 
one older Democrat that you know who's currently supporting Hillary Clinton, and you can flip that individual and convince them to support Bernie Sanders. And if every single one of us does that, think of the impact that that will have. So what this means is that we have some conversations with people. We don't just, you know, uh, bombard people on the internet. I mean, really have a real conversation with someone. If you see someone who's a Hillary Clinton supporter, maybe send them a message on Facebook and ask them, hey, I, I noticed that you're a Hillary Clinton supporter. Can you tell me which policies you agree with? And then you can say, well, that's fantastic. Here's why I'm supporting Bernie Sanders and just being respectful, being polite and having a general, genuine conversation with these people can convert them. Because think about this. It's not the case that people are supporting Hillary Clinton because they trust her or they agree with her policies. They're doing it for pragmatic purposes. I've talked to a lot of these people. They think that if they vote for Hillary Clinton, well, this is going to uh, give Democrats a better chance of winning in the 2016 election. A Sanders supporters know that's not true because we look at polls and we see that all of Bernie Sanders' policies, well, they're right in line with the American people, whereas that's not really the case with Hillary Clinton. And for anything that she's claiming to be progressive on, we know she's just doing that because it's politically expedient. So if we can just have conversations, if all of us can convert one person, think of the impact that would have. I mean, look, thus far, Bernie Sanders is sitting at, what, 35, 40% support, perhaps even more, because we don't know, because these polls aren't representative, so we can't accurately gauge where he's at. But if for some if in some way all of us flip one person well then that number will double he'll now be polling at 60% as opposed to just 30 or 35 or 40%. So we've really got to use these polls to our advantage guys. And anytime you see a poll take it with a grain of salt but really look at the methodology because I think there's still some useful information there. It's telling us that Bernie Sanders is not doing well among certain types of demographics. So we've got to change this. So this is my call to action. Convert one person, have conversations, be respectful. We don't want people to seem as though we're trolling. We don't want to look like Ron Paul supporters. We, we're we on the right side of history here, guys. So I think that we have the advantage here. We can really convert a lot of people if we just have some genuine conversations. And if for whatever reason you can't convert them, move on. Go to the next person. Talk to a lot of people. And the more people you talk to, the chances are that you could do very well. If you're in New Hampshire, I mean, start knocking on some doors. But I mean, even in your own home state, if you can talk to some people, that'd be great. If you go to berniesanders.com, he now has a kit for grassroots people. He, You can buy for $25 a ton of pamphlets with Bernie Sanders information as well as some Bernie Sanders stickers. So this is a fantastic way to actually speak to people and then give them some information about the campaign. We've got to start moving, guys, because I know you guys, some of you actually do trust the polls, and you may be a little bit disheartened by what you're seeing, but let's not get disheartened. Again, we've got a lot of time. All we need to do is win either Iowa or New Hampshire, and we could flip the script. The whole narrative will change. This is what happened in 2007. Nobody thought Obama could win, but then he won one of those two early primary states, and then all of a sudden, he was a real contender. So let's do this. One person, every Bernie Sanders supporter, do your best.